Wiener Burger, the world's largest brick manufacturing company and one of the foremost authorities in clay building material solutions. Wiener Burger has been producing Porotherm Smart Bricks in India since 2009 at their state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Kunigal, Karnataka. When it comes to brick manufacturing, the level of automation and R&D facilities makes Wiener Burger, India's factory, a one-of-a-kind production unit in Southeast Asia. Let us take a look at the construction practices while using Porotherm HP. Safety is always a priority. Hence, this is something we encourage at all construction sites, especially by wearing your safety gears. The Porotherm bricks are delivered in the form of strapped bundles which needs to be manually unloaded by cutting open the straps and stacked at a leveled surface. Being light in weight, Porotherm HP is easy to carry and handle at the site. Load Fixations Let us have a look at the load fixation procedures for Porotherm walls for various types of fixtures to be fixed. Light loads typically include fixtures like wall mirror, photo frame, towel hanger, etc. Medium loads include split air conditioners, geysers, kitchen cabinets, book racks, etc. While heavy loads include items like EWC, wash basins, fixed to the wall or wall wardrobes. Light load fixations Drill a 10 mm diameter hole with a drilling machine on the wall. Ensure the machine is on rotary mode only. Insert a 100 mm long wooden peg ensuring that it goes through outer shell and immediate web of the brick inside. Hammer a nail or screw in the center of the wooden peg. Medium load fixations Use a plastic sleeve anchor of appropriate size. Drill a hole of appropriate diameter as per the anchor diameter. Ensure the machine is on rotary mode only. Insert a plastic or polyamide sleeve. Drive in the anchor screw by rotation with a drilling machine and not hammering. Fix the load in position. Heavy load fixations. Make a hole on the porotherm wall by a drilling machine or chisel hammer. Stuff the hole completely by concrete mortar. Insert the rack bolt firmly inside the filled hole. Let it set for 24 hours without disturbing the position of the rack bolt. Hang the load post 24 hours firmly to the rack bolt. Then, tighten the nut of the rack bolt. Post wall construction The walls have to be plastered. Before plastering, chicken mesh is required to be placed at the junction of RCC and the brick, since the mesh acts as a micro reinforcement preventing cracks. Plastering should be done with splatter dash and two coats. Splatter dash should be done onto a slightly wet masonry wall in a thin liquid coat to form a layer of uniform suction properties for better adhesion of the plaster. After a minimum curing of one day, the second coat of plaster should be applied and the plastering should be a minimum thickness of 10 mm.